Island Sweet Home Middle School. Today is Friday, May 1st, 2020, and day number 47 of the quarantine. It is also National Chocolate Parfait Day. Now please stand for a pledge to the flag and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. If today is your birthday, let's celebrate together. Happy birthday. Now here is Genevieve with the weather for today. Hello, Sweet Home Middle School. This is Genevieve Masali with today's weather. Today's weather is a high of 76 and a low of 53. Send in your guesses for where this weather is to the SHMS Morning Show email. Yesterday's weather was in San Diego, California. We received no correct guesses. Keep those guesses coming in. Miss Lipka's daughter, Madison, is one of our biggest fans. Check out her watching the morning show. Well, we are all staying home and staying safe. It is a great time to read a book. The question is, what book? Answer the questions on the survey to help Miss Reich compile a list of books that kids say kids would like to read. This is your chance to have a say in what books are good and what books are bad in your opinion. The link to the survey can be found in Schoology and was posted by Mr. Peterson. The final list will be shared with everyone. Let's check out Mr. Frida and how he's staying safe and healthy during the quarantine. Hi boys and girls, this is Mr. Frida. How are you? Um, First of all, I miss everyone. I wish we were back at school, but we've been off for about seven weeks now. It's been a really long time, and it's been difficult at certain times to deal with it. So how am I staying healthy uh, and happy here at home? Uh, first of all, we are following all the guidelines, right? We want to make sure that we're maintaining social distancing. When we do go out, we wait, make sure we have our masks in place. I want to give a special shout out to Mrs. Conaway for making me these awesome masks. So whenever we do go out, we make sure we have our masks on, uh, make sure we have our hand sanitizer and washing our hands up as much as possible. But other than that, how do we stay happy? How do we stay healthy around the house? And today I'm gonna to talk to you about what we do here in my household. Every day I like to start my day with uh, something healthy to eat. Breakfast is really important. So what I like to do is have some yogurt. Yogurt and berries are really one of my favorites. Super healthy to start out. Here's my, my uh, strawberries and blueberries. And I like to have some nice Greek yogurt as well. So a couple of spoonfuls in there, like so. And then top it off with some yummy granola. Gives it a nice crunch. So that will be my breakfast for the morning and uh, super delicious and very good for you as well. So another thing we like to do is work out. We've converted our basement into pretty much like a workout facility. As you see behind me, we have our elliptical and uh, we like to try to get our heart rate pumping at least a half hour a day. And when the weather is not really that great outside, we'll come down here, we'll get some workouts in, um, try to get at least a half hour of running in or that heart rate up for the day. Also, in addition to this, we have uh, some floor work exercises, do some abs, do some stretching, things of that nature. And then on the other side, we have our bench. So as you can see, we have a standard bench here, a little curl bar, it's not all that much, but it is something. Not a ton of weight, but it is. What we like to do to stay healthy. Coming over here, we have our curl bar. Lifting some weights. By the way, we like to stay healthy. 
Another way we like to stay healthy is playing some basketball. One thing I love to do is sports. So uh, my son Jason and I once in a while come out here, shoot some baskets. So. There you go. Basketball is really fun. Great way to uh, get some exercise and have some fun in the process. So get out there, play some basketball. Another thing I like to do when I'm not grading or correcting or returning emails or planning for the week, I like to do what you would call sharpen the saw. So today, um, I'm going to be working on uh, these cornhole boards. As you can see, I have my tools, I have a jigsaw, I have a drill, some hardware. I've already had my holes cut out for the boards. Uh, measurement tools are really important. And uh, as you can continue to come around over here, I have my chop saw to get, get going, measure these guys out. Uh, before you know, we'll have some cornhole boards, we'll have some fun in the summertime. So those are just a few things that I do around the house to stay safe and to stay healthy. One more really big thing I think is important is to stay mentally connected with people. I'm going to encourage everyone to go out and FaceTime someone, reach out to somebody that you know and say hello. I know we do miss that social interaction at school, being in the hallways, messing around with your friends, you know, doing the things that middle school kids do. So reach out and stay connected with your friends and family. Also, lastly, I want to nominate Mrs. Nisgoda, my longtime colleague and math teacher. You are up. I'd like to know what, how Mrs. Nisgoda stays safe and healthy at home. So goodbye from Mr. Frida. Uh, again, everyone, we miss you very much. We hope that this ends very, very soon and uh, we get back to uh, the normal things that we always used to do. So take care and have a great day. Bye. That's it for today. Have a fantastic Friday. Again, today is day number 47 of the quarantine and it is also National Chocolate Parfait Day. For everyone at the Sweet Home Middle School Morning Show, I'm McKenna Flato. Have a great day.